What are your memories of the whole Andy Kaufman feud since you just touched on it a little bit? Oh, well, um, without a doubt, uh, Andy Kaufman is probably the best thing that ever happened to me, that best thing that ever happened to my career. I mean, who would have ever thought that, that uh, having a little run in uh, 17 years ago would, would that, that people would still be talking about it to this day and making movies about it using using one of the biggest stars in Hollywood, Jim Carrey, and, and, and me getting to play myself. And, and you know, it's just, it was just, it's mind-boggling to think of how many good things that led to. And uh, and it was all because Andy, like myself, was a lifelong wrestling fan. From the time he was a little boy uh, growing up, he idolized the bad guy wrestlers. and. Uh, and, and what it made such an impact on Andy that uh, he, he actually told me uh, that he was he was uh, just amazed by the fact that somebody could go on television and intentionally intentionally try to make people dislike him, and then that people would still want to come see him. And that made such an impression on Andy that later on, I mean, when he got into show business, that's all he was doing. And a lot of people didn't get it, but Andy was emulating uh, wrestling and wrestlers before he even started doing the wrestling. In his nightclub, and, and he hated to be called a comedian, that was one of the parts of the movie that was accurate, but in his, in his performances, Andy was intentionally trying to make people dislike him but he still wanted them to think enough of him that they would come to see him. He wanted to entertain them enough that they would still come to see Andy. It was he was playing bad guy wrestler, even when he was just being a, a, a stand up comic. And uh, so when he got the opportunity to do, to do the wrestling, uh, it was I honestly think like the biggest thrill of Andy's life. And I know for a fact that um, uh, he even told me if he could have stayed. Uh, full time involved with wrestling, he would have given up all of the other forms of show business. That's how much he loved it, and that's how much he enjoyed it. And and uh, the movie, one of the things I hated about the movie, to me, it seemed like it it seemed like it implied that the wrestling was bad for Andy's career, and that <clears throat> that uh, once Andy got involved with the wrestling, that his career went downhill. And that they just had they just had things backwards and moved around in the movie. And that that's not the case at all. Andy loved the wrestling. His manager, George Shapiro, loved him wrestling. It was one of the most fun things he ever did. Uh, and he was still doing the wrestling in our Memphis area and coming back uh, and, and on my television show there in Memphis right up until the time that he was uh, diagnosed with cancer. And I was one of the first people that he told uh, simply because he was doing an interview on my show one Sunday morning <clears throat> and kept <clears throat> coughing during the interview. I'll never forget, we were, we were, it was right near Thanksgiving. And uh, we were, we had Andy just in another part of the studio. The camera was on me, and then when it would cut to Andy, it made him appear that he was in uh, another location or another part of the studio or whatever, but he was actually in the, right over in the same room. And we were fixing this, we had a big picture of a turkey behind me, and we were going to superimpose Andy's face over the head of this turkey, and he was going to be our big Thanksgiving turkey. And, and Andy was saying, you know, he was cutting that interview into the microphone, and he says, let me tell you something, Mr. Lawler, if you... <clears throat> if you put my face on that turkey, <clears throat> I promise you, I will sue you. I'll have my lawyers in here tomorrow. And, and you know, I, I just thought he had a cold or whatever. And then after the show, he came to me and he said, I apologize for not being able to get through that interview. But he said, uh, I've been diagnosed with lung cancer. And true to, like, the movie, I thought Andy was joking. I thought he was kidding at first. But it, didn't, it only took a couple of minutes for him to convince me that uh, that was the truth. And, and Andy, I think he, he lasted about four months from the time he was diagnosed till the time he died. But he loved wrestling and uh, was, a, was a, the neatest guy ever. You know, people ask me to this day, was he a nut, was he weird? And he, he was not, he was brilliant. And he was, uh, he was so respectful of wrestling and so respectful. Uh, you can ask any of the wrestlers that, got, that had the pleasure of meeting Andy. He referred to everybody as Mr. Lawler or whatever your name was, and Sir this and yes ma'am, and, and uh, he just he just was in awe of wrestling, and and loved it, and 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 I think Andy uh, uh, certainly helped my career and helped helped wrestling in general, you know, and and uh, I really miss the guy.